Hello, Jay. This is V from Central New York, right outside of Syracuse. And um, I was just listening to episode 1127. May I first say thank you for um, deciding to number them. Uh, it has been much more easier to keep track of them since you've done that. Um, but besides the material that was included, um, your description actually really caught my attention. I didn't read it the first time <clears throat> I started listening to the, the episode, but I uh, went back and I was reading it. And um, there was a comment that you made in it, um, which I wanted to kind of elaborate on. Um, it, it, you called, you said that this may be the violent death throes of white supremacy. And as a black male who has studied Dr. King, um, it's quite interesting. In the early 60s, Dr. King was warning moderates. Uh, I often say moderates are um, rebranded as progressives today. But he was warning moderates who were saying, you know, this is the death throes of Jim Crow. This is the death throes of uh, that racist system of the South. He was warning them. And I think the last time there's um, a record of him warning them is about 64, when he said, look, guys, this uh, Jim Crow and racism often looks like it's dying, but it has a strange ability to resurrect itself at a moment's notice. History shows me, at least, that white supremacy, racism, transforms itself. It only appears to die, but it only it, but it actually changes form and reemerges waiting for a appropriate time to come forward and attack again. You have recently um completed a couple of episodes on fascism. And there is a black psychiatrist who is now deceased who actually went to Germany in the 1950s, I believe, it might have been the early 60s, and did extensive work over there um, on the rise of fascism. And she commented when she returned back to the United States, looking at the um, plight of the Jews, looking at what happened to the Jews, looking at what was happening to black people, she said to her, it appeared that fascism was nothing more than racism organized. And this frightened her because there is a historical connection between the rise of lynching, the rise of increased hatred towards black people, and the rise of violence against black people and economic disorder. When whites felt that their economic foundation was in jeopardy, they became increasingly hostile and violent towards black people. And they began and they leaned on heavily white supremacist thought and white supremacist fantasy. This is something that needs to be considered by progressives because we are in a time period where nobody disagrees that the economy is in terrible, terrible shape. And it is likely with the Federal Reserve starting to increase interest rates and signaling that they are not going to stop doing that once um, Trump appoints a replacement for Yellen, which should be happening in the next, I think, six quarters. With that occurring and with what the Federal Reserve is already saying will happen, which is going to be a increasingly, um, it'll look like the economy is getting better, but indeed it's likely on the back end it'll dip more. Um, white supremacy is probably going to increasingly become part of our social fabric again. Just some food for thought. Thank you for the great work that you're doing. Peace to you and all the listeners.